Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. And dad. Hey. What's up? Nothing much. Sweating. Sweating. Yeah. Ready to go home? I'm bored. He's bored. He's knocked everything out. He's going to knock out for the day. We've got the uh, the Mercedes C250. Did the upper coolant lines on that. They're hard plastic. They crack and they get hot because they go right over the top of the exhaust manifold and the turbo. They got hot and they crack. So we put new ones on them. Uh, then we did the Cadillac. The Cadillac got valve cover gaskets, water pump, pulley assembly, and tensioner, and a transmission service. And oh, and, and eight new spark plugs. And in the morning, it's going to get its oil changed, and then it's going back to the lot. I think we've got a buyer lined up for this girl. And I wanted to talk about this girl because these are my favorite freaking Cadillacs. This is a 2008 Cadillac V8 North Star. It's a DTS is what they call this. The DTS and the STS are very similar. The STS is rear wheel drive. The DTS is front wheel drive. And yes, this has a North Star. Now listen to me, hear me out. A lot of people have been turned away by the North Star for so long, they're, they're not up to par with North Star's new look. So the door hinges clicking put a new heel holder on that and be fine i'm not even gonna bother with the but this come on this could technically be considered like a gen 2 north star v8 it is still 4.6 liters but they changed the design of the head stud and the gaskets and these no longer suffer the overheating issues prior generations dealt with so these are way smoother way just cushier engines they still have all the pep the north stars were known for because they were never a slouch they just overheated the head studs pulled out of the block and that's what technically blew the gasket it wasn't that the gasket was weak there's a mustang 2 when was the last time you've seen a mustang 2 anyway so yeah, it would pull the studs out of the block and they make a kit to drill the heads out and retap them and put a new style stud and bolt in it or stud and nut instead of the bolt they would pull and it's supposed to fix the North Stars pretty much permanently. The kits range between four and $800 from what I've seen depending on the generation of North Star that you have or the earlier series, whatever you want to call it. I, I consider this the second generation i think there's actually another between that but i consider this the second true generation of the north star this is when they fixed the head gasket issues um everything else on the car is fairly solid i have seen a handful of them with transmission troubles once again it's it you get it's with the territory i mean it's a big heavy car but lock lock press and hold Yeah, so it turns on your lights. It will flash the turn indicators on the mirror and your park lights activate. And now the car is, is on until you get in it and you still have to physically put the key in the switch. This headlight is getting replaced. Now you can come up to the car, press the unlock, unlock the driver's door and we can step in. But no, these are these are my absolute favorite. And then when the key comes on, the rest of the dash comes to life. These seats, oh my gosh, they're like the best bucket material. It, it's the little bolstering here is, is outset further. And so it really just sucks you right in there. So we, uh, we did a coolant service. We did uh, valve cover gaskets because they were leaking. And I, uh, I did eight spark plugs while we were in there, and the transmission service was good fluid. So she is ready to rock and roll. And I don't have a lot of camera time. Camera time. I don't have a lot of battery time on this thing. So we're gonna make this quick. Let me make sure I got that hood closed all the way. I'm assuming the indicator would have been on, but you never know. I want to make sure. 
Oh yeah. Just look at this thing though. If you were looking for yourselves a good full size sedan, look no further. And I am picky about my Cadillacs. So this one, as you see, is black on black, black leather interior with a dark accented wood trim. Very classy. And this has a column shifter. I only, I don't know why, I only like the Cadillacs with the column shifters. And you know uh, how I am about gear shifters and consoles. The console's not a bad thing. It's really not. It is nice. Our uh, 2018 Camry has the console. Good car. However, something about that column shift does everything for me. That is it right there. Just seeing the indicator on the dash, pulling that gear shifter down. It's a lot of people say it's truck like. I mean, it comes with the territory. So, man, I like DTSs. I, I want one of these so bad. This one went on the lot, I think, for 89. And there's a buyer lined up for it. They wanted a full service done. And they thought that uh, it appeared one of the, the front valve cover looked a little damp at the bottom. So they wanted the, uh, the valve covers changed. So that was all part of an agreement for it to be sold. So here she is. This has a, this is not the premium, premium radio. This is an up trim one. Uh, but it's not the top of the line model. It does have the Cadillac clock with the DTS insignia and the Cadillac logo right there on it. This North Star just feels so peppy. It just wants to go. I mean, it is just itching to, to take off. But yeah, full airbags in this car. You've got tweeters up there. Speakers throughout the rear doors as well. sounds good this one had or has dual exhaust on it factory i think it's quad tip two on each side man this it just soaks up bumps it is so quiet and well insulated but you can still hear all the motor that you need to and as i mentioned these don't have the head gasket problems the previous generations had. I do see transmission failures with higher mile ones. Uh, all, however, transmissions don't appear to be that expensive. For, I mean, they're, I mean, they're relatively inexpensive by comparison to some others. But for the amount of car you get. We've got dual, uh, dual zone climate control, it is a digital face, and this air is freezing me. You probably not heard a word I've said because the vent's been blowing on the camera. That was, that was nice. Should have thought about that. we still got OnStar, typical Cadillac catering to the elders. A lot of things have OnStar though now, it's not uncommon. But, I mean, look at this girl. Steering wheel controls, these are the same ones that are in like the, uh, Tahoe's and the newer high trim Silverado's. We've got cup holders that are covered if you don't need them. Soft touch materials, typical. Still maintain an ashtray. This is a 2008 Cadillac. Still got an ashtray. Paperwork, OnStar manuals, owner's manual is up above all of that. Double visors. Reading lights. Come on now, I just had it. Center console. Almost looks like cassette slots, I swear. Probably not, but that's definitely almost what it looks like. There is a CD slot behind that. And it folds up because, yep, still makes a third seat or more storage how about that is that not cool 
so you've got a third seat which means this will hold six passengers how comfortably eh, this is not the softest thing to sit on though it is still easy to touch and the back of this is actually softer than the bottom you just don't have a lot of space but like i said you can seat six people in this big girl how freaking neat got all of our information buttons up here fuel range average economy instant and the fuel used for a trip which this is just got battery voltage and a miles per hour trip one trip two and then back to our fuel range i hope i meant to get it back to the miles per hour i mean the miles per hour there we go all right that's neat i think it needs a tpms sensor as well Look how big these back doors on this on this car are. Way larger than the front. And what's this? Another sit. Well, it's got a 12 volt outlet. No cigarette lighter. It still has the outlet. And another ashtray. Or you can just take it out and use it as a cubby hole. Once again, Cadillac still catering to that generation of smokers. Bench seat in the rear. Fold down with an armrest and cup holders much better cup holders they still look flimsy and they kind of are uh, but they still gotta be better than the buicks of days gone by buick used to do that for the front and them things just broke this has the rear access through the center for your skis or golf clubs whatever you might have the rear headrests do not adjust up and down they are fixed man have i said that i like cadillacs Gosh darn it, I like Cadillacs. Now, do we have a trunk release? No, we have, wait a minute. No, we've got a valet switch. No other trunk release appears to be here or on the seat. We will check the trunk for a button. Typical Cadillac fashion. No button, which means we will have to resort to our key now i might be overlooking something this is the first eight model dts i've played with nothing else seems to be different there it is you guys were screaming at me it was right there i can already hear the comments boom cadillac rubber mat on the floor push down it has a aluminum donut this is a space saver a 175 70 17 inch rim it's to get you home. Well, actually, it's to get you to the Cadillac dealership. Who am I kidding? It's got a nice little handle here to grab to close the trunk. I like this so much, I put a piece of terry cloth behind the tag to protect the paint, even though it's not perfect. And like I said, it is quad tips, two and two. Aluminum wheels, four wheel disc brake. They are of the 235, 55, 17 Uniroyal Tiger Paw flavors. These are touring tires. But I freaking love the new Cadillac DTSs. I mean, I love the Cadillac DTSs. In case anybody wonders uh, wonders what I, uh, I want for Christmas this year, I, I wear a size black in Cadillac DTS with a column shifter. <laughs> I, mm, man, if, if I could afford one, I'd take one for myself. And that's another thing, is they're really not that unaffordable. I'm just broke. So... I work on junk cars for a living and make cool YouTube videos. All right, let's face it, I make mediocre YouTube videos. I still work on junk cars though, like that BMW and that Suburban and the F-150 and the GM front wheel drive division, Monte Carlo flavor. 49 GMC pickup, got a Audi Q7, I think. Jesse Silverado blew another transmission, so it's here and on the other side of it is our on the Odyssey minivan. We got a Saab 95, a Ford Ranger. I got to make a video on 88 Cavalier Coupe for my brother. And then uh, 
an 89 or 90, I don't know, something F-150, I can't remember. But out of everything, this DTS, this is my favorite. I wanted to find one of these really bad and give it to my grandparents because they still haven't found a car. Remember we looked at that Dodge van? It didn't work out. Would you like to know why? Okay, I'll tell you. It didn't have that. It did not have an oh shit handle. My grandfather having a prosthetic leg and also have suffered a stroke in his lifetime, multiple strokes actually, he relies on those handles to help get him in and out of a vehicle. Now he, well, they, uh, him and my grandmother drove my Acura RL Limited for about, for about a year and uh, were able to get in and out of that car just fine. They just could not, uh, well, they, they were able to drive it just fine because it had the handle so my grandfather could get in and out of it. This DTS is larger than my Acura RL. Uh, this being an 08, the RL being a four, I think. But this is larger and he, I know he could, he could get in and out of this because if he can get in and out of that RL, he could get in and out of one of these. And my grandfather had Cadillacs when I was younger growing up I, it's, I always remember uh their Cadillacs the Cadillacs still smell the same the leather and the interior materials really haven't changed that much you get in a Cadillac it literally smells like my childhood and I'd really like to be able to to give them a Cadillac of this caliber however these things sell for I mean I've seen some that were in lesser condition than this uh, bringing 35 to 4,500 bucks. Uh, they just, they don't have, they're not doing so well financially and there's no way I could pull that out of my ass. So <sighs> I had that motor in their Arcadia rebuilt last year and that dollar, that thing dollared me to death. And then it's, it's getting around, but you know, so I'd said for years, I was going to buy them another Cadillac. I told him over and over and over. I said, I'm, one of these days, I'm going to bring you guys home a Cadillac so y'all can have a Cadillac again. They sold their last Cadillac when it started having trouble, but they couldn't afford the next, the, like another Cadillac. So they took a loss on theirs, and then I forgot what they bought. They bought some old minivan. I don't know. That was the end of it. From there, financial woes just got worse. My grandfather's health deteriorated. But their spirits are still high. That's what's important. So maybe one day... Maybe I can find a, a wrecked one or something and put it back together or find one with a bad transmission. And the problem is they're still not cheap. Even with troubles, even in, even in piss posh shape, they're, they're still too dang expensive. But this one, Man, I like this one. And I would give them the Acura RL and tell them just to keep it to have a car. But my grandfather that drives the Ford Ranger like that one, he's got the RL because he wrecked his Jeep last year on his birthday, tore it all to pieces. I can't find a, a donor car to cut a quarter from. So I gave him the RL and I took his Ranger to do some repairs and then i just told him you know what just just keep the rl it's probably the nicest car he's drove in 20 years you know it's got heated seats and air conditioning and power everything it was a nice car that accurate it's it's like this one black on black and he really thought he was in high cotton with that car so i just i told him to keep it so that's where the rl the, the accurate rl went my my grandfather the one that lives on the lake he has it and I've got the green Ford Ranger that he was driving. And then my other grandparents, uh, they don't have, well, they've got the Acadia and that's it right now. So, and this, this thing was gonna go on the lot for more than I could afford. I, said, I think this was 89 is what it went out there for. And then, like I said, there isn't a agree to purchase upon repairs. So this one's gone. I mean, you probably could have financed it and I could have made payments on it, but. Whew. Too much.
can't can't afford to do that right now also a house update coming soon since you guys continuously ask for that although i haven't been able to do much because the price of lumber has went like ridiculous it's like triple what it was when we did our remodel so right now i'm gonna just trying to put some change back in my pocket got this uh honda civic gotta fix a water leak on it dad's been driving his 67 ford galaxy every day it's like a rat rod kind of deal almost not quite it's still cool though he he's, he's getting a really good kick out of it guy's supposed to be coming to pick up the mercedes right now since it's finished that'll be one gone this will get gone first thing in the morning it'll go back to the lot got to fix the chevrolet van put a lower intake gasket in it for a one of uh, Cody's cousins, I think it is. He's in a wheelchair and he's disabled, so he drives one of those vans and it's been poor and coolant and he had to have that fixed. I'm trying to get that done for him. Uh, the other shops in the area were trying to, I think, and then their numbers were a little high, so I'm gonna do it. And then I got this BMW to do brakes on, full brake kit, and then send that out the door. Just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, but I, I had to film the Cadillac. I had to guys had to get you guys to see this thing before it left so i said tomorrow i'm gonna change the oil in it see if i can't fix that tpms light probably can't probably broke it when they put the new tires on the rear whatever but thank you guys for watching drop a comment down below let me know what you think i got more stuff to go get jump on also got to put a motor in a dodge this week stay tuned for that i'm back in the big red ram again yeah, I, I, I never got rid of the big red Ram. We had the Toyota, the Tacoma, and the Tacoma got sold. So in case you guys were wondering, it did sell. It's gone. And we're rocking the big red Ram again. So there's your Cadillac. The one true Cadillac I would definitely... I mean, I like a lot of Cadillacs, but this is the one North Star that you can make an exception for to the rule. And this thing's only got like 117,000 miles on it. She's just getting broken in. Uh, look on marketplace you'll see these things with two almost three hundred thousand miles on them still kicking so don't sleep on you cadillacs folks they're making a comeback the north star is getting better all right we'll catch you in the next one let's see what it has done where do you go oh You get your rings? Yeah. $30. Same when I dropped. Mm. Mm. $30 for three of them. And then I already lost. Hmm. Mm. Ah, anything else? Uh, no. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you. We will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.